13 hours early, the GTA 6 trailer leaked on Twitter. I was like, I'm not gonna look at this trailer. I'm gonna ignore it. I'm just gonna wait until it releases officially in 13 hours and have my planned stream as I was going to originally, right? But after working for the last couple of hours or whatever, I see on social media like, oh, the trailer's officially released now. I'm like, oh. So I guess Rockstar, because it leaked early, they're like, well, we, we better release it now or we're just going to get undercut by the leak. I know what's going on with Rock at Rockstar right now. They're having so many leaks of goddamn everything. I forgot to mention, I legitimately moved my entire sleeping pattern just so that I'd be awake with a lot of energy at 1 a.m. my time. So like it's 1 p.m. right now, I'm tired as shit and I'm going to bed because that's what my sleeping pattern is now because I was planning my life around a 1 a.m. release my time of the trailer. I also bought myself a fake like popcorn container thing. Well, I guess it's real, but I also bought myself popcorn. So I, would, I was gonna make myself popcorn and now have this container and this popcorn for no goddamn reason. I was prepped. I was gonna watch all the GT5 trailers again. I, got, I, ma I made like playlists of them and this leak, leaking the trailer, completely screwed up all my plans. It sucks. Everyone who has leaked anything related to GTA 6 should be kicked into a volcano. Not appreciated. So I'm tired as hell. I was working on my video, but I'm now going to watch this trailer. Some of you, maybe for the first time, with me. Many of you probably already seen it. It premiered an hour and a half ago. It's not even got a million views. The view count did fix sometime after this, so I guess maybe the video is getting so many views that it broke YouTube's system. The first trailer for GTA 6 after 10 years. Lucia. Do you know why you're here? Bad luck, I guess. through this is by sticking together, being a team. <laughs> Trust? Trust. So I have an insane amount of thoughts watching this. The graphics look insane. That looks so good. The GTA 6 trailer is insanely good. I never doubted Rockstar. They wouldn't be releasing if they didn't think they had a banger on their hands. It, so it hasn't been rated yet? I mean, surely it's not gonna be like an R game or something, right? Okay, the color, this immediately just looks beautiful. And we're, we're sitting, you know, this is, this is 4K, so we're, we're looking at pretty much the match, same quality, and this looks great. The, the faces, look at this. Like, this is like leaps and bounds above GTA 5, obviously, and you'd, you'd hope so after 10 years. I guess she's just getting out of prison as this starts. Wouldn't it be funny if the entire thing was flipped around and like she ends up in prison later on rather than starting in prison? Actually, yeah, there's nothing about this sequence that necessarily means that she's certainly starting in prison then rather than going to prison later in the game. Because I wonder, I mean, it's because a good start for a game, a classic start to a game to start in prison and leave prison, but it, it could be flipped around. And I wonder if you get to do anything in the prison. Like, like you, you get scenes where you are in the prison life or you have to break out of prison or something. See this voice acting talent here? Bad luck, I guess. That's obviously me, as you guys know, uh, being the voice actor for Lucia, as I often said. Uh, and that was never a joke, obviously. Wait, 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 wait. Could this be a picture of GTA 5? Maybe kind of looks like it, but it could be anything, right? The water looks so good. Oh, wait, is these is animals? Wait, wait, so yeah, there's, there's packs of dolphins. There's so many assets here, chat. Like, think of how limited GTA 5 was. But because of 360 and PlayStation 3, where they couldn't have barely anything. They couldn't have any foliage or leaves and stuff and all the trees and the beaches were so uh, amazingly empty. Look at how much stuff is here. They're taking advantage of next gen. So good. And the city, 
it's hard to tell, but I mean, it looks like there's far more tall buildings than in um, GTA 5. But it could be a comparable amount. There's a lake in here, so there's ocean, and then there's a lake in the middle of the city. What, what's this say here? Why 69 when you can 919? I wonder what that, that's about. People just look so good, it's nuts. And there's so many people here. Like, like, is there really gonna be this many people when you actually play the game, or is this a card scene? Like, I'm, I'm gonna say it's weird, weird to say. It's like those kind of models from games that people hack and do like weird sex stuff with. I'm saying like, like what they did with Overwatch. Everyone knows that, I'm not weird for knowing about that. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> what I mean is, people got all worked up over the strip club in GTA 5, and that shit is polygons, everyone's ugly, these people look actually hot in many different scenes and stuff. Like, people are gonna go ape shit. So, new vehicle? Um, no, this isn't, I guess this isn't new. Like, other GTAs have had, what's this, a hovercraft? Fan boat. Yeah, San Andreas had it, yeah, but GT5 didn't, so it's kind of like bringing that back. D different environment, like, it wouldn't make sense for GT5. Look at these animals, man, it's so cool! There's a crocodile, these are flamingos. I'm getting overhyped about the animals. Technically, GT5 also had animals, but they weren't really like a significant feature. You had to like look for them and they barely did anything and they looked garbage, but these look great. And there's like herds of them. Oh, the water. Everything just looks so much better. It feels so much more like a city, at least looking at it right now, and I hope it translates to gameplay than, than just GT5, right? Hair physics looking, looking good. Look, look at this. Make it rain? Chicks twerking everywhere? Oh man, look at the nightlife, man. It it looks so good. Car Carbonarizar. I'm not very knowledgeable about cars, chat, but I'm sure, okay, that says cheetah there, so it's poly a cheetah. I'm sure people will analyze the hell out of this. Wait, Hotel Dixon? It, that's a hotel in GT5 as well, right? I guess it's a, a, fr a franchise, a chain? There's multiple bridge connections between, I guess, islands? I guess, oh, that's a crate carrier, I guess, multiple of them, so different boats. I like these little island things, that's pretty cool. Like, like, come on! That- this- this might be one of the first sincerely attractive characters in a GTA game. That's hot. I- <laughs> I guess social media is going to, uh, feature prominently. I poppy save some sugar baby for the rest of us. Dad bod squad. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, man. The crocodile look really good as well, and the water fix. Stay alert, VC, remember to check. Find invited guests before the pool party, official poach. Chick twerking on a car, as you do. Illegal street races, I assume. Drifting, competitions maybe. Are they really gonna have it like as a feature that you can make yourself a social media star? I hope they don't go too hard into that. Like, like Watch Dogs did, for example. Or it could be just like a, an aspect of some characters you interact with that they have this or something. I don't know. Think of how many crazy goddamn things you could have in this Florida-esque kind of crazy in environment or whatever. I mean, like Florida Man-esque stuff. Like just crazy fucking people. I kind of look like I might even Trev when I first saw him. <laughs> what the fuck? He's got a thong on, dude. This is so. This is Jason, and this is Lucia, and this is the first we're seeing of them both. So Bonnie and Clyde stuff, as everyone has said many times. And there's money. No overturning zone. Cops arrest man who flipped his car after Pee Wee's Dine and Dash. Still Weasel News being here. Impertinent. Is this a, a reference to Jared Leto Joker? Dirt bike. Dirt bags. Cops fail to stop thugs on motorbikes terrorizing Vice City. Trust. Trust. They sound so good! I think people speculated whether they were actually a couple. Like, it seemed like Bonnie and Clyde were a couple, right? So, I mean, them seeing like this, of course they're a couple. Well, at least I hope so. I mean, she she's quite good looking as well. I mean, in the original leak, think of what this game looks like now, and how people exaggerate about how bad the leaks look. Like, oh, it was terrible, Rockstar's done something wrong. You, you know, we, we're all gonna, we're gonna experience like a, another GTA 5 looking game. Like they've, they, you know, but, but obviously, you know, they were all wrong. The people who looked at the leaks and said, GTA 6 is going to look shit, look incredibly stupid right now. They look stupid before as well, just much more so now. The GTA 6 trailer has cursed me. Everything that previously looked good, or was at least satisfactory, now looks like garbage. Is like I've been given a taste of vision, but now must return and stay blind for well over a year. And GTA 6. And they are calling it GTA 6, thankfully. So he says right here, 6, GTA 6. It's not just called Grand Theft Auto. And I like this logo too, it looks lovely. Coming 2025. But it's, it's more than enough time for me to get done the stuff I need to get done. I'm pulling even more time than I need. I am really, really impressed.
Uh, like, it didn't give me, like, uh, let's say it's a PC release or whatever, but I'm really impressed with what I saw. Rockstar also put out a tweet that sounded like they were ticked at the trailer, trailer released. Uh, Rockstar Games Twitter. I mean, they would be. Like, I mean, they've had so many leaks. Our trailer has leaks, so please watch the real thing on YouTube. Dude. Rockstar sounds pissed about the GTA 6 leak. Rightly so. Anyone would be. Can't believe we actually made it. I mean, yeah. We, we, hopefully all of us are still alive when it comes around to, uh, the, the game actually releasing. Is a phenomenon that less elderly people die around religious holidays. Um, because they, they, like, they've got something to look forward to and, and the, 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 the rate of death drops, right? I, I think the same thing will be for, like, a lot of people for GTA 6. Like, everyone's gonna be so careful not to have, like, go to jail or die or do anything crazy because they won't be able to play GTA 6. RP's gonna be a blast? Yeah, there's so much more diverse with assets and stuff that would definitely be very good for RP. Thoughts on the song choice? Sounded very good. Love is a long road. I'm sure it's gonna get content ID'd. Where is it like actually set in America? It is Florida? But wait, so Vice City is in Florida? Is that how that works? Miami, Florida is Vice City. Oh, okay. What comparisons did people make between this and the GTA 5 trailer? This one seems far more hyped and chaotic from what I can recall. Uh, a lot more action packs. I mean, I, it's interesting that they focus so much on the world of GTA 6 as opposed to, like, the main characters. I mean, we got b barely a glimpse of Jason is what I'm trying to say. Like, we probably, we know more about Lucia. But, I mean, Rockstar isn't above using scenes in different ways than we used initially, uh, like, actually in the game. I suppose that's everything, right? What else is there to say? I will, uh, see you guys later. Wish I had a big stream with this, but, ah oh well. Boop.